Alright. <laughs> this is the last episode. I am pumped. No more wait. We are starting this. From now on, whenever a human speaks to you, you will be able to read their current thoughts. You take care of getting the lands. It's imperative. I'll take care of preparing our departure. She... she has to pay for all the harm she's done to me. Meanwhile, let us remain on our guard against any last-minute surprises. I know my brother well. He never prepares for war if he has no chance of winning. Finding out that I'm a demon makes no difference. I haven't come all this way just to fail so close to the goal. If asking you all these things, it's for your own good, you know. You are keeping up the good work, I see. But I'm telling you, keep your guard up. Everyone is rather on edge right now. Don't make me your competition, Deriche. You are no match. Trust yourself. It's all already in there. Ooh. Checkmate. My friends, here we all are. We are about to definitively shelve Lord Mortimer's absurd project regarding Louisiana. It will only take one of you to oppose it, and we have won. The vote is to be held shortly, so we must keep our guard up. I'm sure Mortimer's preparing something. Don't worry, Sir Gregory. Nothing can stop us now. Beware, Johan. We mustn't underestimate him. So, I'll ask you to return to your rooms and stay there until the conference. And if one of Mortimer's mm. team comes knocking at your door, no matter what, do not open it under any circumstance. Don't give them the opportunity to manipulate you. Is that clear? Understood. Good. Right. Let us adjourn. Uh, Louis, uh, stay on a moment, if you would. I need to speak to you. Yes, sir. What can I do for you? I've known my brother for a long time. I'm sure he has a plan. I'd like you to go and see each member of our group and make sure that- One thing's for sure. I doubt William will give up without a fight. He'll try something. I'll keep him busy while you check on all of our group. Can I trust you? Of course. If there is a traitor in our group, find out who it is, Louis. Find them, then come back and let me know. I'll deal with them personally. I want a landslide victory. I want to teach William a lesson and bring that ridiculous Godoy back over. Now that you've persuaded him to switch to Mortimer's side, it would be preferable to bring him back quickly. We'll still need him, and I don't want him going down with Mortimer. Very well. It will be done. I'll go now. Thank you, Louis. See you in a while. Okay. So we're supposed to check their royalty. We're supposed to go. I think we're supposed to go up in their rooms. Duchess Emily Hillsborough. 
I can't go in there. Is soon putting on one about. Forgot where their rooms are. Just around the corner. Monsieur Johann van Wunder. Why is his study in such a mess? Looks like Volner's planning something. Look, a, a blotter. And apparently it's been used recently. I wonder what Volner was going to write. It's smudged. It's not all legible. I can make out the signature, though, and leave as as if planned. Le uh -oh. What a mess! Oh, Looks like Volner was point. interrupted. Wait. I'm not going to read all that, but it is. Looks a lot like straw, and he's drawn something in a hurry on this sheet. I get the feeling that I've seen that somewhere before. I've seen occult inscriptions like this before. They're not very common. As a matter of fact, I've only seen them once before, around the Lock of Alazif. Golden Elixir. Mm. I don't want to go out there. A chest lock with a four-letter code, surely a word close to the owner's heart. Byzant from the Byzantine Empire, a coin often used during the St. Louis era. A chemistry set. That's not surprising coming from von Wollner. I should find something to help reveal the traces of ink on the blotter. Mm, we're fine, I guess. Just close. Just close. Let's see. My simple toiletry case? Never mind. Monsignor, his eminence Cardinal Piaggi. Ah! 
Your eminence? Your... God damn it, your eminence! Your what? Damn, I can't feel his pulse. He's dead. What the hell is going on here? I've got to let Mortimer and Holm know about this. Gosh dang it. Can you tell us how you found him, Louis? I went to speak to him about the conference. I, I knocked on his door. As there was no answer, I, I went in and I, I saw him exactly where he is now. I took his pulse, but it was too late. William? Nothing to do with me, Gregory, if that's what you mean. And you? Of course not. Poor Giuseppe was with me. I had no interest in getting rid of him. Louis? Me? Of course not. No, I thought as much. I was wondering if you had any idea about what might have happened. I know who might have held a grudge against him. Really? And who might that be? Well, it's, it's awkward. Don't worry. You can talk in front of me, Louis. I gave no such order. And if it concerns yeah, one of I my guests, I need to know their identity. Well, there's Mr. Von Volner. Johan? Hmm. Continue, Louis. Why do you think Johan would have had a grudge against his eminence? I heard him making threats. When he tried to attack me earlier, Piaggi stepped in and Mr. Von Volner swore he gave him. Gregory! Wait, William! You mustn't judge Johan prematurely. Under my roof! William, if Johan has anything to do with this tragedy, I demand the right to take care of it personally. He knew the rules, and I will not tolerate him attacking a guest like this. I'm asking you to let me handle it. It's against my better judgment, but permission granted. Don't make a mess of it, though, or I'll take care of him personally. Very well. I'll be about my business. I will find out exactly how this happened. Thank you for informing us, Louis. I shall inform everyone that his eminence has had to return to the continent for personal reasons. I must ask you to keep it to yourself. Good. Yikes. Wait a moment, was I supposed to... Wait. Whose room is this? Hold on. I didn't get to read the sign. Huh, that's me. Duke Manuel Godoy. 